here we go again. After a 10 year wait, Mamma Mia is back on the big screen and we're here for the movie's world premiere in London to meet all of its stars, including the legends that are Cher and Meryl Streep. It's overwhelming. And it's, <laughs> it's really unbelievable because we never thought 10 years later we'd, we'd be back. And I think the world needs Mamma Mia more than ever. In terms of so many, um, I guess, eclectic characters and big names together, was there ever any kind of moments where there were people vying for, you know, uh, do you know what I mean? Was that was that all plain sailing? There weren't any egos in that? It was. There was no one who stood out as demanding or temperamental. This was just fun for us. And it was a chance if we made a fool of ourselves, it's fine. The audience loves it. You know, they love seeing all those guys try and dance in spandex. It's a hoot. We think there should be a Mamma Mia 3 and that instead of filming in Croatia, beautiful Croatia, you should come to Ireland. Oh, I love Ireland. Or we could, we could, we could hop from Sweden, Swedish islands to Irish islands. Good idea. I'll pitch it. Ellen, you love Ireland, do you? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I met my wife there. So, is that right? Tell yeah. us about that. Yeah, uh, we. I met in the Horseshoe Bar in uh, in the Shelburne in Dublin. We met. Yeah. It's a good spot. Yeah, it's a good one. An incredible cast, and and I guess reunited again. What, you know, what was it like for you, the whole experience? It was wonderful. I mean, we we just uh, it was like nothing had happened. We just continued where we stopped ten years ago, and. And the atmosphere was the same. We had so much fun together. I, first of all, I think it's about being free and having fun. And sometimes in this day and age, it's hard to do that. But you just, it's just fun, you know? It's just fun and you are part of it. You're, they're having fun, we're having fun, and the audience is having fun. I think I was doing this 10 years ago, terrified, I suppose. Just like, you hadn't, we had no idea. We knew the, the, the stage show was a huge success, but we had no idea um, whether the people would take to the film. And they did. And so now, um, Pierce and I were saying the other day, we were less embarrassed or, certain, almost for the, um, or worried about the singing and the dancing, because we knew that, that it didn't matter. And people weren't, they didn't, they weren't, weren't going to be haters <laughs> about that. <laughs> Joy, pure joy. Joy, laughter, tears. It has a very strong emotional uh, punch to it. It really grabs you as soon as the curtain goes up. It's fantastic that ABBA are getting back together, even though it will be, the tour will be virtual. Um, can you tell us a bit about that and when, when are you coming to Ireland? Yeah, well, we come to Ireland for sure, absolutely. Thing is, we can go anywhere all the time because we don't have to go ourselves we just send these things out which is the whole idea that's why we will turn on the project i'm not sure exactly what it will look like but we have to see to that when you go and see it you'll have a good experience even if you won't meet me in person do you enjoy that do you enjoy lighter room yes very much so yes very much when are you coming to ireland oh i'd love to that is a beautiful beautiful Country. I've never been. I've been. I've been to Scotland also, but never to Ireland. That's my next, my next uh, bucket list trip. There was something.